Alright guys, I'm back with another quick tutorial and this was a question that came from someone inside the low code school. They were asking if it's possible to create uh, image carousels and I've personally never done it but I experimented and it turns out it's very very simple to do. So that's what I'm going to show you. So this is what it looks like. It's really nice, really clean and in fact you don't need the buttons. You can have this set to auto rotate if that's something that interests you. Um, obviously, there's no animation, but still looking pretty good. So we'll jump into the back end and I'll show you how it's done. The first thing you want to do is set up the images, right? So you get the name of the image, which isn't really necessary, but you can add it. Um, the image itself, the carousel that you want to put it on. In this case, it's the yachts. And then the slide number. This is in case you want to order the slides in a particular order. And you can just manually put that in um, or you can do it automatically. Then we jump to the carousels uh, table and we have the name of the carousel, the images, which is just a relation table that is matching uh, where the names uh, of the carousel is matching the name of the carousel in the images tab. And we want to make sure that it's matching multiple. Then we have uh, a slide number and this is very simply just a number. It's a, just a number field. Um, you don't even need you know, the, the denomination, you can just have it as slide number. Then what we want is a query column. And what you want to do is run a query in the related images. And you want to filter where the number from that particular image is the number from this rows slide number. And once you do that, right, it'll return one result. Then all you do is do a lookup for that particular uh, image for the for the of that image. And then that's it. You have these two buttons. These are very simple actions. Uh, let's jump to the buttons. So the next slide is a custom action. And all it's doing is if slide number equals one, it's setting the slide number to two. If it equals two, it's setting it to three. And if it equals three, setting it back to one. And for the uh, previous slide, you just do the reverse. So if it's equal to one, you set it as three, so on and so forth. So yeah, very simple, very quick to implement. Um, obviously, you know, mobile responsive. And you can do this with data, you can do this with images, you can do this with anything really. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's done a carousel you know, I didn't even look in the forum before attempting this, but this is the solution. Pretty handy. So cheers.